Welcome back. So I will be coloring the skin right now. I've selected. I've gone to the library. How did I get to the library? My third symbol from the left. This is the library. Then select my tool. I'll be using smooth contain to color the skin like to change my my tool so I'll be picking one of these pastels soft blender soft wash fine green streaky Super green under the pastels. Much better, at least for his skin tone. Always go to your library and select what you want. Remember, is from the main menu your third icon or symbol from the left.
Now the skin is looking much better. It's an amazing super grainy pastel. Like I said, I want to change the hairstyle. So, first of all, let me finish with the skin. Let me draw the facial details with my ballpoint pen. Color has to be black. I'm zooming in as much as possible. I decided to leave this out now. Instead, let me change the pencil. The, yes, much better. Change the ballpoint pen to pencil. LightsNinja.com So the facial details are coming out. Let me go back to last color. Last color is this icon. Second icon. Look at the base of your screen. Second icon from the right that looks like a, a drop of liquid. It looks like a drop of liquid. Yeah. Last color. So that's what I'll use now for the lips. Now, better. Now the cheekbones. Last color. Last color. Last color. Ah, crap. I need to use brown. So 
so if you want to change the color you tap on this color showing on the circle then below the color there are different icons starting from left is to change your tool the other one is to erase then this top one is color picker the one at the center then by the right this one is that this icon that looks like a drop of liquid is to change to your previous color then this one that looks like a two triangles with a vertical line sorry two rectangles with a vertical line between the two rectangles this one is for flip canvas there's flip canvas there's last color there's color picker this one is for transparent color and this one is for last brush black and brown now for the facial details it's only the eyebrows that will be black looking much better now sometimes you can choose to ignore these facial details but i just want it to be there for reference purposes Case of some case of next time. So the face now looks more realistic. I've added the base color to the skin. What next is to add um, shadows. I would like to go back to my pastels and make use of them. Um, what was the last pastel I used? Super grainy, yes. So I use this same. Use this same pastel 
darker shade of the color I was using then I'll start adding shadows or instead let me use airbrush hard airbrush Oops, that's too big. Let me reduce the size to 13.1. Much better. So now I'm adding shadows to make my model look or my quirky look more realistic. Now for the face, adding shadows, forehead, in fact, side of the face, adding shadows, one side of the nose. Adding shadows under the jaw, the side of the neck. The kind of shadow I'm applying is when the light source is in front of the model. So there we have it, looking more realistic. Then I'm going to add his wrist band. I'm going to select image from here. This is the home menu, this is the other menu, import image, I want to import image from my gallery using this icon that looks like a picture of mountains, so I want to import image, no I don't want my recent images, I want taking time okay ok 
okay now now i want to put image from my pins to give him a wrist band or should I say a bracelet to select a good bracelet for him Very good bracelet. I'm still searching for images for the bracelet. Well, 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 Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. I'll prefer him to wear beads. Yes, selecting this one. So you're going to see how I'm going to adjust it now. So I'm turning this upside down, increasing it to the size of his wrist. Good. And I select my layers. The second to the the second icon from the right is my layers. Select this layer where the beat is. Select it. I reduce the opacity. Now we've seen the opacity has been reduced. Then I start cleaning. Select my eraser. I start cleaning the unwanted part. I have to increase the size of my eraser to clean faster. Start cleaning the unwanted part. Remember, I had to select now that I'm closer to the beat, so I have to reduce the size.
Okay, let me go back to that layer where the beads are. Let me increase the opacity and see how the beads look on him. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, we'll take a break here then. When we come back, we'll finish up. So we are done with the skin. So what we'll have to do is add a good hairstyle, then make the feet of this model look more presentable. Then clean the unwanted parts. So please, let's take a short break. I'll be right back. Quantas 